All right, let's get started. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. I forgot something. All right. All right. The ambiance is better. How are y'all doing today? It's been a long, long time. I totally ruined my grand entrance, but um, how are we doing? First things first, is the stream okay? Is there any glitching or anything? Because I'm being told by Twitch that it's unstable, but on my OBS, it says that there's no drop frames or anything. So can you... Can everybody hear me okay? Can everybody see me okay? Is Welcome it glitching, back. lagging, How anything? Van Dub, thank you so much for these 17 months. Traub, Traub, thank you for months. the 22 months. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. All seems fine. What's up, Dre? Long time no see. How you doing, man? You made a hell of an Elite Four here, and uh, this is pretty nuts. Um, so, yeah, I, I took a bit of time off because we moved and obviously I'm in a new space. I'm in a bigger space. I, I can't touch walls on either side. That's exciting. Um, and it took a long time. It took a long time to get everything kind of like to get everything back into the flow and in the rhythm, but I did it. Um, obviously it's not all set up or anything. Um, we'll get us some better backgrounds and some stuff on the sides and some stuff, but I have a little bit of stuff here. And as you can see, Look who gets to be back on stream. It's Poppy. Look, Poppy gets to be back on stream. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Let's go here. Hey, Pop. Hi. How you doing? We got Poppy streams now. So she'll hang out. She'll hopefully be in the background, as it were. Um, again, we'll flesh out this background a bit, make it look a bit better, but I have one one shelf here. We'll get some more shelves up here. We'll get some more bookcases behind me to display all of my random crap, but um, Nelson's in frame, Poppy's in frame. What more else can you ask for? Poppy, do you wanna come say hi? Let's see if, let's see if you're okay with that. You wanna come say hi? Poppy, do you remember? You used to be on stream all the time, huh? Say hi. Say hi. Hello. Huh? Camera shy? It's okay. She'll get back into it. She'll get back into it. Huh? Huh? What a good girl. Hey, TJ. Poppy says hi. All right, I'm going to put you down, but you can play with your ball. Actually, I think I'm going to take your ball. You're going to squeeze it. Let go. Yeah, okay, no ball for you, but you can play with your pig. Huh? No, I, I don't have the ball. It disappeared into the ether. Oof. All right. Oh, now she's just once over here. So, yeah, new space, feeling good. Um, well, very stressed, but generally feeling good, right, you know? And we're rocking it. But yeah, we'll we'll fix the lighting situation. We'll fix the echoey situation, which you probably can't really hear. But um, we'll fix. We'll have a better background. Maybe we'll get a poppy cam here on this monitor that kind of like looks at poppy that we can always switch over to if she's sitting in her bed. But right now she's not because she knows I have the ball in my pocket. Tried to pull a fast one on her. Didn't work. That's okay. <laughs> What's up, Drew? Good to see you. During TwitchCon, how are you? How 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 was the rest of your time, Drew? What's up, Cappy? Back to bag, stream chat. Let's go. Here we go. N W R Donald making me redeem a hat right off the bat. Um, really putting me on the spot. I do have some hats here. I guess Ridge is getting a sponsorship today. Love you, man. It was great. Judd woke up. Hell yeah, Judd. 
Judgy too. Yo, what up, JP? Got to see JP over at TwitchCon too. Uh, lots going on here. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch order of hats. And also, I guess my head got bigger because this does not feel particularly good on my head. We're gonna need a lot of thinking power for this Elite Four because uh, stuff's tricky. It's hella tricky if 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 you catch my drift. All right, we got the two hats on. New Clodsire plushie dropped. Hell yeah. What's up, Gappy V? Um, looks like I missed a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Poison is the best type. Thank you for the 11 months via Prime. Folks, did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Prime account to your Twitch account and subscribe for free? Takes money out of Jeffrey Bezos' pocket and puts it into mine, or more specifically, Poppy's pocket. Poppy's right here. She's getting scratchies. Was up, Moxie? 21 months. That's a crazy G amount of time, man. Pax was sick. Pax, for subby. Pax was sick. Pax was a lot of fun. Um, we're going to do some content around it. I'm going to be in a Papa C video about it, which is going to be fun. Um, I enjoyed it. It was really fun hanging out with people. Met Pete Chow for the first time ever. That was really cool. Uh, we hadn't met in person before, so that was nice. He's a very nice man. Uh, met some new friends, saw some other friends again. It's great. We want a poppy can. I will work on setting that up. But in the meantime, in the meantime, who's ready for some Renegade Platinum Snaplock Elite Four? If you're tuning in for the first time ever here, a Snaplock is where the viewers banned 50% of all encounters, and I had to make do with the rest. So uh, as you can see to the left, our team has two bug types, Polyrath, which is a crime that it escaped the ban, but I'm very grateful that it did. A fairy type Altaria, Probopass, and Sableye. It was, it's, um, I literally worked almost eight to eight straight doing these calcs and preps for this stream. So it's going to be extremely embarrassing if I wipe immediately. Um, but yeah, it, this was like, easily like 10 hours freaking freaking brutal hello dr flag on hg watching the stream from spain it's 7 p.m here love your content keep it going well then mircito we better get started so you can go to bed on a reasonable hour huh it's like toilet never wipe dear lord um it's like it's like a bidet i guess right Ooh, she's her head is so soft Poppy's head is so soft. You don't even you don't even know how soft Poppy's head is. So glad the PAX East is in May next year. Might swing a vacation for it. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, <coughs> next year PAX is on my birthday. But I do think it's very funny that people like are retweeting the announcements that it's gonna be from May 8th to May 12th. And they're like, warmer, it's it's gonna be a warm PAX. And it's like Fellas, fellas, I I hate to break it to you, but it's going to be a coin flip as to whether it's warm at the start of May. I'm just, just being honest. What do you think will be the hardest Elite Four member? Um, Easily Flint. Flint is easily going to be the scariest. Is it still cold in Boston right now? I'm going to be there this weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, message me after this. We got to figure something out. But also, it's Easter weekend, so I may be gone, unfortunately. But um, no, it's extremely cold here right now. It's like 34 degrees right now. One Fucking sucks. G, let's Nebula Paladin. Thank you so much for the seven months. That's very generous. Much obliged. And Stefan Levin. Stefan Levin. Stefan Levin, thank you for the sub as well. Got lots of subs. Thank you so much, folks. Oh, um. What's up, Dirty Ox? How you doing? Good to see you again. Hope the new house is going well. Thank you, thank you. Um, so here, here's the team, um, in case y'all didn't know. Oh, actually for the highlights channel here. If you've never done Renegade Platinum Elite Four before, the reason that it is so extremely difficult compared to other ROM hack Elite Fours is that each member of the Elite Four and Cynthia have one of four possible teams and there's no way to know which one you're gonna get. So you have to pre like plan for 
each of the four possibilities, essentially meaning that you have to plan for, what is that, four times five for 20 different teams. There's a couple Pokemon that overlap, so it's not 20 completely different Pokemon, but it makes it significantly harder and you need to have contingencies for any given plan or any given team and you need to have a plan for any given team. So you can't just be like, well, I'll hope for this one and hope that I get it. I have better matchups into some of the teams than others. So we're just going to have to kind of roll the dice, you know, but here's the team we're going with. Um, this is for my channel video. You see this future Flygon? You look for this so that you know that this is where you're going to come to get the final team. All right. Um, I'll walk through these guys a little bit, but let's first do just one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, they have Pokerus. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So those are our Pokemon. Um, as you can tell, or as you might be able to tell, some of them have trash moves and abilities and stats. Actually, the moves are all fine. Good luck, um, three, four. My, th these po there are so many reasons that this was frustrating, one of which is that some of these Pokemon are dog. Some of them are just absolute dog. Let's let's start at the top. So we got Masquerade. Timid nature, phenomenal. You know what's not phenomenal? Four speed IVs, zero HP IVs, okay? It does have 30 special attacks, so it's nearly max attack, which is great, but that's zero HP IV, and most importantly, that four speed IV means that we don't outspeed certain things. So we have to play around that. And it is beyond frustrating, man. I'm telling you, it is very frustrating when you outspeed one Glysaur, but not the other. That sucks. So we're going to have to play around that. Next up. Um, next up, what do we got? Best We've got Taskmaster. Taskmaster is Flygon almost be, min Flygon attack. Four be, Flygon four be. Minus attack. Minus attack natured, right? Minus attack natured because of calm nature. Who needs special defense when you're a freaking ninja -esque? And 11 attack IV, which honestly isn't that bad. But if we were not minus attack, we would guarantee kills that we do not guarantee with this stupid ninja -esque. But Taskmaster has been phenomenal all, uh, all, all run. So we're going to rely on them very hard. At least they're nearly max speed. Not that it really matters because they'll outspeed anything anyways. But that means that even with some choice scarfs, we outspeed. So, um, yeah. Next up. Good old Polyrath, a.k.a. three attack IV'd Polyrath. That's right. We're going in with a physical attacker with a three attack IV. But not to be outdone is zero. No, excuse me. One special attack IV Altaria plus Minus special attack nature. This is quite literally one point. No, exactly. Nope, never mind. Never mind. It's not. It's literally min special attack Altaria. Keep that in mind, lest we accidentally not kill the Garchomp. So that's that's going to be fun. Um, that's pretty brutal, but at least defense is a good thing to have here. Pretty average, mediocre IVs across the board. Other than that, 17 HP, 14 attack, 17 defense, 7 special defense, 13 HP, or 13 speed. Could be better, could be worse. I guess Polyrath has pretty good attack and IVs other than attack. Um, we got this Probo Pass that's uh, plus defense minus special attack, which is a tad annoying. But other than that, other than an IV of 7 for HP, not terrible, so I'll take it. You and... Um, Solteria does not have nature here, but Cloud9 is kind of good, kind of bad. I don't know. We'll see. And then last, of course, is the Sableye, which is Stall instead of Magic Bounce, which would give us immunity to Stealth Rock, Rain, I'm sorry, Sandstorm Chip, Hail Chip, if that matters. Um, what else? Oh, it would mean that we could carry a Life Orb instead of have to use Expert Belt, and we wouldn't have to worry about taking damage. But instead, we got Stall which is literally the worst nature in the game. 
Um, it's not super fast anyways, but it does have 31 attack IV. So that, you know, not too terrible and it's neutral nature. So whatever. Um, decent, good HP, very good. No, very good HP, decent defense, decent special defense, 28, 20, 12. So it could be worse, but really not having magic bounce is a bit of a kick in the pants. Nonetheless, this is our squad. Yes, Drew, sorry I wasn't addressing you. This is the Elite Four team. It is Mickey Mouse as hell. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I did some calcs. We're going to we're going to we're going to hope that we get good rolls. We're going to hope that we avoid the few crits we got to avoid, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Fingers crossed. Does Stable I get magic bounce in this hack as a regular ability? Um, I don't think so. Pretty sure it's uh it's magic guard. Wait, what? Wait, was I? That is magic guard. Yeah, it's magic guard, not magic bounce. I don't think magic bounce exists yet, does it? Anyways, anywho, how many hours of calcs did you have to do for this? Roughly ten hours of calcs. I literally did it from the moment I woke up yesterday to well after I should have been working on it, other than when I ate and walked Poppy. So it was. Um, it's been grueling. Um, I got. I got a whole doc here. Let me show you my doc. Got this whole doc here. Look at all of this. This is the plan for all the teams, teams, teams. Every plan ever. Um, we're doing our best. Um, do mods want to make a prediction for Deathless A Aaron, and then we'll get started soon? Are we all ready to get started? Um, these Pokemon are all prepped for AA run already. So I, um, there's not much. They are all almost at level 76. So we already have that done. The move sets are appropriate as needed and their moves are as needed. Surf, Ice Beam, Bug Buzz, Air Slash. You have Protect, Leech Life, Aerial Ace, and U-Turn. You have Close Combat, Drain Punch, Scald, so that we can get rid of it. We don't want Surf, so that we can get rid of it for later matches and Protect. Then Homie has Dragon Claw, Fly, Moonblast, and Flamethrower. That is correct, because Flamethrower is for Fortress, Dragon Claw is for Flygon. Um, although, actually, I guess we don't need Dragon Claw if we have Moonblast. But I think Dragon Claw is better anyways. Whatever. Um, And then... Last is... No, not last. Probopass has Stealth Rock, Power Gem, Protect, and Rest. All maxed out because this big boy is going to be doing some stalling. Folks, call, call me Joseph. I don't know. Is it too soon? Um, folks, we're going to be doing some stalling here. So get get ready for that. Get get your, um, get your stalling pants on. Because... Probopass is going to be doing a lot of stalling. And then we've got Aunt May with the Choice Band with the Fake Out, Sucker Punch, and Shadow Sneak to get over our little stall issue. Lord Almighty. Folks, make those predictions now. Um, mods, if you're around the whole time, it's going to be deathless for the first four as usual, yes or no. Um, I guess you can put a third option for wipe if you want. Yep. And then for Cynthia, I want you to do how many, how many, um, can you do like deaths? Um, there's almost certainly going, no, I don't, there could be no deaths. So go like zero, one to two, three to four, five wipe, something like that. But like, like make it like more wild that way, you know? Um, but yeah, so we have, we have all of these maxed out. Uh, for PP, just in case. We'll have to remember to do that after each turn, etc., etc. We'll do our best. Um, how are we, how are we all feeling? Everybody ready? Um, what should I write here? Should I write subscribe or what do, uh, what do people want me to write? Any messages that you want me to send out into the world in this little notepad? 
Chikino, thank That's you for the 15 so months. Wow. And Jet Set Daniel, thank you for the 20 months. I predict you will die of fun. That's terrifying. Bra SV and Kai as well for six months and 25 months respectively. Man, we are getting a lot of long time subs. That is very generous. Thank you all so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Promote your Twitter. Twitch, twitter.com slash Flygon HG. All right, here, we'll just go like this. Sub. Scribe. I don't care where you're watching this. You're watching this on the, the main channel. Subscribe. You're watching it on the highlights channel. Subscribe. If you're one of the dozen of people that watches on the VODs, subscribe it helps out a lot and i took a long time off so i'm spiraling and very very scared about the health of the channel not really but kind of so subscribe subscribe it's free and it helps out a lot okay i think we're ready oh wait big ass b kind of didn't leave enough for an exclamation mark but that's good Okay, what about if you're watching from illegal websites? How are you possibly watching this from an illegal website? Oh, I guess if you're on Twitch, you can subscribe too, I, I guess. But that one costs money, so I understand if you don't want to, you know? Did Zygarde XY come as a result of Pokemon Legends Zoot Alros? No. Actually, uh, I, I mentioned him before Legends Arceus got revealed, didn't I? Or Legends Za, didn't I? Maybe not. I don't know. But I definitely did the video before that. Anyways, Keyfix Swa. Thank you for the sub via Prime. You're doing the Lord's work, Keyfix Swa. All right, guys. I think we're ready. I think we should do it. Should we uh, Should we get into this? We're going to lead with uh, Polaris here. What do we think? Anything else left to do? We got all the items we need. Um, I stayed up late last night grinding PP maxes for you guys. I was grinding PP max. <laughs> I just heard it. Not, not on purpose. Uh, I grinded max elixirs. This is really just like Lepa berries, but easier to do. And we got our full restores. We got zero. Uh, we don't got any EVs on any of these bad boys. Like even just like 50 EVs for speed on this mask would make a hell of a lot of difference, but what is, it, it is what it is. All right. Are we ready? Check PP Max. Good, we did it. Crossing that off. How the hell do you cross things off? And... All right, well. How do you cross stuff out in Google Docs? Control S. I didn't do anything. Control Shift 4. Alt Shift. I'm just going to Google it, you guys. How to cross out words on Google Docs. It's like format from the top menu. Jesus Christ. Format. Text. It's Alt Shift 5. All right. Alt Shift 5. Great. All right. So we did that. All right. Here, here, here we go. Let's see which, um, let's see which A Aaron team I get. I think I would like to see Ian Mega lead. What I really would not like to see is Venomoth lead. I really don't want to see a Venomoth, okay? Okay, chat. Manifest no Venomoth. And no Venomoth. I don't know what a Venomoth is. PEI Guy 2, thank you for the 13 months via Prime, folks. If you're just tuning in, did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Prime account to your Twitch account and subscribe for free? It takes money out of Jeffrey Bezos' pocket and puts it into mine. Just a thought. Um, yeah. All right. A main, a main bet. A main, a main bet. All right.
Oh god. Oh shit, didn't find my rival. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. Here we go. Who's ready? I'm ready. Hojo Q so Rustarian. True. Thank Some you for the sub via Prime. And K-Man343, thank you for the 13 months via Prime. Here's some Bezos cash. Hell yeah, baby. It's free money, baby. One fight, Frank incoming. Let's go, Aaron. Aaron, who's one fight, Frank? <laughs> Rourke is calling. Oh, God. Let's do it. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. It'd be pretty awkward if we weren't, huh? I'm gonna vom. I'm gonna vom. Matt Lopez, thank you so much for the sub via Prime. All right, we made it. That was the first challenge. All right. You know what'd be wild is if they randomized the order. That would be spooky. Okay. A Aaron time. He didn't take any deaths last time. You gonna come back with a vengeance? Time to find out. Let's didgeridoo it. Let's didgeridoo it, baby. Mati, you made it. Welcome to the Pokemon League. As I said before, I love bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon. They're nasty, mean, but beautiful. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Show me how you've grown. Dude, you're speaking my language. I got two bugs on my team. I'm rocking two bugs. All right, show me Yan Mega. Show me Yan Mega. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, Scyther is team four. So this is Scyther. All right, let's focus up. So this is Scyther, Pinsir, Scizor, Yan Mega, Flygon, Drapion. Um, all right. All right. We don't really need to set up Stealth Rocks, but we gonna. Okay. Starts with a bit of damage. No Armaldo is pretty clutch, I'm not gonna lie. All right. This is, this is a little scary, Potter, but we'll do our best. All right. Okay. Dead. I was gonna bring in Pinsir. The issue is that Pinsir can kill with both close combat and earthquake. So what we need to do is something a little tricky. And a little risky. All right. So he went close combat. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee that he's going to go close combat here. What I want to do is go Altaria. Altaria will outspeed, kill with fly after a close combat defense drop. 
The issue is that if it goes Earthquake, then there's no defense drop. And then if it Earthquakes and then crits with Stone Edge or Mega Horn, then Altaria is dead. So what I need to do is instead I need to pivot. Actually, um, does Sableye... We don't need Sableye for anything, right? No, it's Sableye then guarantees... No, no, so we gotta go Nebula. We should always guarantee close combat. The issue is if it crits with Earthquake here, that's a bit tricky, but we gotta do it. So we go Nebula. See, it went Earthquake. Don't crit. The way AI works is that, um, if it sees kills with two moves, it's just 50-50 whichever move it uses. So you can't guarantee bait something. But now we can just protect here and it should guarantee close combat because it doesn't see a kill with anything, so it goes highest roll. So, now it's guaranteeing close combat. We go Altaria. Altaria is part fairy type in this game, not part flying type, so it's dragon fairy. Still has a uh, fighting type resist. Close combat, lowers uh, pincers defense, fly kills. Now it does, of course. And we have choice scarf to out speed. Almost clicked Moonblast. I guess actually we could have also flamethrowered, but whatever. All right, Altaria is at level 76 now. That's good. We need Altaria at level 77 so that it guarantee outspeeds Garchomp with a Choice Scarf. So um, I'm really hoping that he, he gains some uh, HP here ASAP. Or gains some uh, XP. <laughs> okay, okay. Scizor. Yep. Okay. So this is this is where had Scizor. Uh, unfortunately, flamethrower. We can't kill with this because uh, <laughs> Scizor has bullet punch. And it guarantees kills here. So we got to switch to Polyrath. This is where things get a little sketchy. Um, but should be okay because we didn't get crit by Earthquake. Iron Head, I, I still, so we could have stayed in and just killed this, but no way to know. No way to know. Um, thankfully this has Life Orb, so this should be fairly easy. We've got Drain Punch. You can protect to get Leftovers Recovery. We should be good. should go Yan Mega. I think I just close combat here um, because I don't really care what the Yan Mega does. Yeah. Ah, you bastard! All right. Okay. Three down. Altaria should get another Thou. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, and Mega, don't care about that. Take 50%, you chump. Doesn't really matter. I, I honestly don't think uh, Stone Edge really mattered, but it is what it is. Protect here just for some life orb recovery. Our leftovers recovery, but we don't need it. See, now it's going Psychic instead of Hurricane. Might have been a little stupid. But whatever. Um, we'll just go to Polaris here. Really not much you can do. Hurricane doesn't confuse in this game, thank God. Um, that's real chill. Oh. Okay. Oh, main. Oh, main. Bit, brav. Bait, brav. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Polaris is back to full HP. Not that it really matters. Okay, okay. So far, so good, folks. So far, so good. Power gem this suck. Okay. That's fine. All right. All right. He's getting rot speedy, lav. Bug buzz. Um, you know what would be great is if you didn't get a spit F drop here. Perfect. Power gem kills. Goodbye. That should bring in Flogon. Flygon in this cute little game has compound eyes, but is also bug dragon type. It is no longer ground type. It's bug type. Interesting, no? So. So. Five out of six Hoenn Pokemon? Oh, me? Yeah, we're just hoeing around, baby. Um, Wait, no. Who has five out of six po Hoenn Pokemon? <laughs> Four out of six, yeah. All right, um, yeah, so this is Earth Power. Even if it's not, not much else I can do about it. Um, this is Yanma's whole freaking deal is just switching in on ground moves and clicking U-turn. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, great. Now, I would, I for one, would love, I would love if you, uh, you turned, wait, wait, so it did 25%, so now it's at 75%. How much... For Dragon Claw, oh, Dragon Claw does 60, bro, she don't even know. I can make your hands clap. What are you gonna, you gonna Dragon Draco Meteor me? What, are you gonna Draco Meteor me or something? Is that what you're gonna do, Chief? You're certainly uh, not going to successfully do it. Tell you that much, Chief. Ah, she fire blasted. You know, um, you can miss, I guess it's compound eyes, so actually you straight up, like, can barely not miss this. And, uh, that's all she wrote, folks. I guess, uh, hmm. All right, one, one sketchy thing here. I, I'll t it should still bait cross poison. One would think. <laughs> One has to hope. <laughs> really. I mean, um... Like, I guess it could go Earthquake, but it should go Cross Poison. 
Yeah. All right. Now, this is where the fun begins. What do you have? Focus Sash, right? Yep. Oops! I guess I should have protected. It's the ultimate combo! Ninja has to Probo Pass! Let's go, baby! Great! Hey! Hey! Okay, that's why we have Focus Sash, but that sucks. Um, I don't- I don't much- I don't much care for that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's an issue. That's a problem. Because now it can go Aqua Tail. Which twer it to crit would kill Probo Pass. We could also go cross poison. Alright. Well, this didn't work. Um That's really bad. I, um, I think we're fucked. <laughs> so if it sees the crit, it just goes for it, huh? One seventy nine mask isn't faster. That's bad, bro. It's either Cross Poison, Night Slash, or Aqua Tail now. Um, but the issue is I no longer have a way. Mm, I think I just have to roll the dice on crits.
All right, Altaria will kill, but I basically have to not get crit on the switch. If I do, I'm no fucked. Totally fucked. Actually, actually, as long as it doesn't crit Earthquake, we're fine. Uh, because Night Slash will doesn't crit nor kill nor does Aqua Tail. Okay, that's our best bet. Stopping by on a death. Happy 18 months. I can't reliably do crit earthquake. Even with scope lens, crit is not. So it's like one in. Oh my fucking god, dude. Okay, we just gotta go Altaria. If it crits earthquake, um, that's a wipe. The only alternative is mask rain on the crit earthquake. No, I can't stall out EQs. The reason I can't stall anything out here is because clearly if it gets a crit with Night Slash, it'll go for the crit with Night Slash, right? So there's no way I can PP stall onto Ninjas. That's the whole reason that this didn't work in the first place. I thought I could PP stall because I didn't know that it saw crits, but it does see crits. So right now, the only thing I can do is risk the crit on uh, Altaria. Just sees a percent chance to give a plus one to high crit moves regardless of damage roll. Same difference though. Interesting. All right. Please, 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 please don't make it end here. Please don't let it end here. Don't let it end here. Please, 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 please. Please, please don't let it end here. <laughs> okay. 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 We're Gooch in the Cooch. We're Gooch in the Cooch. Well, I really hope that's 40%. If it's not, we're in trouble. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Twelve and a half divided by thirty. Oh my god, it's so tight. That's exact, that's forty-one point six percent. I need mineral does forty-one point one. Oh my god. Why is it? Why? <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh, you fucking mint special attack Altaria! 
Please! 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 Alright. Retirement postponed. Oh my god. That was one of the easier ones too, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Eight to twelve hours of calking was for was not for naught. Thank you for the subs, courts in session, and julosity, and Grimmashaddy, and Archangel, and and people. Thank you, thank you, and the Ape Seven. Why don't we just give rare candies to them all, yeah? Oh, Lord. All right. <laughs> God, fuck. All right. Let's check items. Masquerain gets expert belt and is our lead. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, expert belt. Taskmaster gets focus sash. How's Bertha looking? I'll let you know in a sec. Depends on who we get. All right, Polyrath gets leftovers. That's what you have, right? Yep. Altaria. Altaria. So I think I want an XP share on Altaria, actually, so that we can guarantee to 70 a 7. Altaria ideally doesn't do that much here. Well, um, Probopass gets leftovers. Probopass always gets leftovers. And Sableye gets leftovers. Um, where my leftovers at? All right. Moves. Masquerade. Needs Surf, Ice Beam, Giga Drain, and Solar Beam. Oh, look. Taskmaster can get Giga Drain. That's kind of funny. Uh, so we don't we don't ever have Bug Buzz or Air Slash again, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, we need Solar Beam as a Hail Mary. All right. Ninjas, protect... Leech Slife, Aerial Ace, and U-Turn. That's what you got. That's what you're keeping. Aerial Ace, protect, yep, yep. Polyrath, Drain Punch, Protect, 
Scald, close combat. Yep. Moon Dragon, Altaria gets Roost, Fly, Moon Blast, Sunny Day. Roost, Fly, Moon Blast, Sunny Day. So Dragon Claw and Flamethrower going away. Uh, okay. I mean, we don't want we don't want fly, but we can't get rid of it, right? Because it's an HM, so we're stuck with it. Ideally, we get protect here too, but alas, earwax. Um, protect or sunny day here. Okay. Okay. Um, Probo pass, stealth rock, power gem, protect, and flash cannon. So we get rid of rest. A little scary, but we do need Flash Cannon, and we can't get rid of Power Gem because we can't get it back if we get rid of it. So Flash Cannon is... Where is that? 90-something? Yeah. Okay. And Sableye, Fake Out, Sucker Punch, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. All right, unfortunately we need Stealth Rock because there's two Pokemon with Focus Sashes, Golem and Camerupt, and we Glad need those broken if we Dr. get those HG. teams. Um, yo, thank you so much, Zirna the Trainer. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Um, last is Protect on Sableye to stall out potential stuff. Um, All right. Shadow Claw, Fake Out, Shucker Punch, Shadow Sneak. We want to get rid of Shadow Claw. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. All right, so you need a max elixir. Mm. Any particular team you're hoping for? Ideally, we get um, one of the Hippowdon teams. How's the new house? It's great. Um, been a lot of work. But um, very, very, very uh, rewarding and fun. Congrats on the move. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Great Zealous. Thank you for the sub. All right. Here we go. I think we're ready. Lead Masquerade. Let's see him out on, baby. Who's ready? More important, does Poppy like it? Um, She likes having more space in a yard. Um, She is still getting used to being alone in the house and just like having people in different places and stuff. So especially for a little while, it was a little, I think, traumatic for her, but she's uh, she's getting adjusted. All right. Here we go. Let's freaking do it. Okay, Bertha. She has two teams that lead with Hippowdon. She has two teams that lead with Tyranitar. I would ideally like the ones that lead with Hippowdon. All right. 
Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? She's right to the point. I appreciate Bertha. Well, we'll see. Okay, Hippowdon. One of the two Hippowdon teams. Good, 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 good. So Expert Belt Surf always kills. Um, if it's Glysaur that comes out second, it's team one. If it's Pseudo Wudo that comes out second, it's team two. Instantly kill with Surf. Okay, uh, and we kill this with Surf instead of trying to do anything tricky because we don't want this setting up Stealth Rock, so we just kill it. That's why we have Expert Belt, that's why we lead with Modoak, dead. So, what comes out next? Moon Dragon gains XP because she has the XP share here. We want that so that hopefully she gets to level 77. Glysaur, okay, so it is team one. This is team one, and unfortunately this Glysaur outspeeds. Um, this Glysaur is fast. It outspeeds by exactly three. So if we had four IVs, four more IVs, we'd outspeed. But nevertheless, this is fine. The only bummer here is that we need to stall this out. It's got wing attack, it's got earthquake, it's got protect and roost. So it's gonna go wing attack here first. We're gonna go to Polaris. Hmm. That was crit. <laughs> cool. All right, this is gonna be a while. Wing attack has, what, 35 PP? So we're gonna be here a while. Buckle up, folks. Um, it's gonna go Earthquake, so we go Taskmaster. I guess we should have protected. Although, yeah. So, the good news is that uh, after this Glysaur, Masquerain sweeps this entire team. We just got to get it, him into the correct position. That's three earthquakes. I should have protected the first turn with Probo Pass because um, we got to watch the Sandstorm chip on this uh, Ninjask, but other than that, we should be good. The wing attack. Three wing attacks, three EQs. All right, let's focus up. Protect. <clears throat> Four EQs.
I hope you guys enjoy this music because you're gonna you're gonna hear it quite a bit here. Five EQs, and I ain't speeding up because I don't want to throw this. Um, all right, we go Probo Pass. On the fourth wing attack. Okay. Attacked. Six EQs. U-turn does nothing here, and I actually don't want to use U-turn because I don't want it to waste time protecting or roosting. EQ. That's seven EQs, yeah. And five wing attacks. Mm-hmm. Someone tell me why we're stalling. Uh, I'll tell you, or you'll see if you chill. Protect again here. That's eight EQs. Nine EQs. All right, one last EQ. Wing attack. All right, one last EQ here on the protect. All right, so we are completely stalled out of Earthquake. So that means that this Glysaur, which only knows Wing Attack, Protect, and Roost, is stuck using Wing Attack. What this now means is that we can comfortably set up Stealth Rock to break any Focus Sashes in the back, and we can also now safely go to Altaria and set up a Sunny Day to get rid of the, um, the weather. The weather means that... Um, there's no sand veil on the dawn fan that's in the back, and also we don't take chip over and over again uh, against the mask or rain. We're going for sunny day instead of rain dance because there's a couple teams that have a swat. There's a team that has a swampert and a quagsire, and I didn't want to give them a rain boost, and we don't actually need the rain boost for ourselves personally. So that's why we're going sunny day. The nice thing about Altaria's Cloud Nine is that it won't take chip on the switch here and wing attack does 21.9 to 26%. So unless it double crits, we're perfectly fine to switch in and then go for the um, then go for the sunny day. So there's nothing that can go poorly here. The bad thing, the reason we have to stall out wing attack is that uh, Masquerain is not faster. So we have to wait until it's stuck using roost and protect. So that's what we're doing. Um, but I'm going to go Altaria here just in case I miscounted um, the Earthquake. <laughs> I, I don't think I did, but we'll see. <clears throat> so I guess if this wing attack crits, then we need to reevaluate, but it didn't. As you can see, Sandstorm now rages, but Altaria does not take chip. That's the one nice thing about Cloud9. Now we can Sunny Day. And that was another wing attack. Let's monitor that. So that was seven wing attacks. We can sunny day here. Eight wing attacks. All right. We actually survive another one. But I'm going to... 
Well, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's just stay in and roost here. Wing attack never kills. We're at 76. That is nine wing attacks. And now we're in it for the long haul, baby. Ten wing attacks. Uh, no. Seven wing attacks. Ba da 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 da. Twelve wing attacks. All right. Fourteen. Fifteen. No, 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 no. Yeah, so I understand that this isn't particularly exciting. Maybe it is, but um, we just beat Bertha, so that's cool as long as I don't fuck this up. Um, the, oh, that's a crit. The, um, the reason that I have to do stuff like this is because some of my Pokemon just aren't strong or fast enough. It, it is what it is. Um... Uh, 17. One more and we're halfway there. Over halfway. Eighteen. All right, I'm going to switch out. Actually, we're going to do one more. 19. <laughs> 20. 15 more, baby. <laughs> 60 uh 21 i mean all right stealth rock set up boom baby funny too All right. 23! Ah, oh, crit! <laughs> Woo! Okay. 24! Twenty-five! Ten more! Twenty-six! Uh. 
Gwen? Nope, not yet. Twenty-seven! Twenty-eight! Do 28 next? Okay, what number should I do next? Twenty-nine! Hey, that's your age. Hey! 30. All right, we're five, five away, baby. Five more. Chat, spam when we get to your age. Just kidding. You're all like, what, 12? Even though you shouldn't be. We, we, we got past your age long ago. 31. Any 31-year-olds in chat? Thirty-two! Oh my god, we're getting to ancient. Thirty-three. One second, just just double checking something. Thirty four. Okay, guys, it's the last one. It's the last one right here, right here. It's the last one, baby. But we are gonna verify that I counted correctly. We should have done a side chat to see if we we counted correctly, but that should be the last one. Show me freaking. Show me. Show me freaking. Show me frickin'. Show me frickin'. Let's go! Let's go! We counted correctly. Okay, okay. Totally stalled out. Now it's very safe to go back to Modok here. And kill. Murder! Okay. Murder! Yeah! You ever seen a, a freaking masquerade sweep Bertha's entire team in Renegade Platinum? All right, next up, Golem. This has a focus sash, which is why we needed the thingy-mabop. We needed the thingy mabop to kill Golem. Surf, gone, dead. All right. Um, yeah, we needed we needed stealth rocks to break the focus sash on Golem. <laughs> oh my God, Tobin! No way, that's so wild. We just did that. All right. Next up, Rhyperior. Guess who drowns in a sea of my masquerade's tears, baby? Rhyperior. That's right. Choice banned? How about choice get fucked? All right. And the reason that Masquerade is the best little baby water type in the gosh darn game is that he also learns grass type moves, which means we can eviscerate this wish cash as well. As long as we click the right move. Okay, goodbye. So,
Walmart Swampert. Well, Walmart Swampert is dead. Last is Dawn Fan. We just click Surf. And we're good to go. And that is a sweep. Moon Dragon. Um, you gonna you gonna level up? Oh God, it's so tight. Bye. That is Bertha defeated. Okay. 77. Fuck. Ugh. How close are you, though? We needed to get to level 77 by the time we get to... Um... By the time we get to... Uh... Oh, it is level 77. I missed that. Word. Okay. Nice. Huge. Okay. It's level 77, so now it guarantee outspeeds the Garchomp uh, when we give it a choice scarf. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been bad. All right. Deathless Flint. Um, Flint is by far our weakest option. Um... There's a couple that are better than others, but they're all pretty scary. For reasons you shall see shortly. Um, okay. Start with items. Masquerade gets choice scarf. Ninjask gets focus sash. Pro Polyrath gets leftovers. Altaria gets leftovers. God, I f oh my god. Dude, dude, these nine tails are so evil. Um, Probopass gets leftovers and Sableye gets focus sash. All right. Um, moves. Mask, surf, U-turn, rest, and rain dance. Uh, roost and rain dance. I'm aware that I'm giving moves that are setup oriented to a Pokemon with choice scarf. Unfortunately, there's no other way around it because Masquerain does not outspeed the two Nine Tails. Excuse me, the Nine Tails. And those little motherfuckers are real annoying, I gotta say. Real, real annoying, frankly. If I'm being frank, and that's the only thing. That's the only way there is to be. I'm not at Cynthia's level cap. I'm at what's his name's level cap. Lucian's. Ah, uh, okay. You were Frank. I would still love you. Thanks, Maximo. How you doing, dude? Dude, I missed you at at uh. Uh, the thing. Where were you at the thing? The thing! Alright. Stealth Rock, Protect, Power Gem, Rest on um, Probes. We'll give him Rest. Probo Pass is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting in this fight, depending on the, um, the way the RNG shakes out. Sableye's got Protect. 
Probo Pass has Power Jam, Protect, Rest. Okay. Ninjask is good. Polyrath needs Rain Dance, Protect, Scald, and Close Combat. Where the hell did Rain Dance just go? It's like 17 or something? 18. What would the Solar Beam play have been for Bertha? It was basically just a Hail Mary if something went wrong in some of the other fights, but there, there was like... Masquerade didn't have another move that it needed, so I put it on there just in case, like, I came out and had to deal damage in the sun before the sun expired, if I set it up with Altaria, that sort of thing. Um... Rain Dance protects Scald in close combat is what that homie has, right? Okay. Altaria has Lefties, Roost, Fly, Moonblast, and Earthquake. Unfortunately, we cannot fit Rain Dance on his moveset. But, admittedly, it shouldn't matter, hopefully. Oh God, okay. This is where it gets scary, folks. This is where it gets scary. And just so we're clear, there were several things that Sableye would have needed to do against the other fights. So just because we haven't used Sableye doesn't mean that she's any less of the team. And theoretically, she's really good against Lucian. So just, just saying, just saying. But um, I think we're ready to go. Masquerade has Choice Scarf. Ninjask has Focus Sash. Polyrath has Leftovers. Moondragon has Leftovers. Polaris has Leftovers. Aunt May has Focus Sash. I don't really know which team I want. They're all pretty lousy. Uh, we'll, oh, let's max, max either the homies. Um, please spam max eithers if you see that I'm about to, to not do it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go P, and we'll take on Flint. All right, Stubby. <sighs> Lightning quick on the draw. They call me one ball quick PP. Okay. All right. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Mm. 
Here we go. Here we go. Fastest beast in the east. Oh God. All right, so we still lead Mask. Unfortunately, I would love to lead Polly, but it doesn't work that way. Okay, I think mayhaps I'd like to see Rapidash. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Safety save. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. So there's two Ninetales leads, a Rapidash lead, and a Torkoal lead. Time, time, oh God, oh God, I'm gonna throw up. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. All right, Flint. Yo, trainer, you had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire type Pokemon user with me. Let's let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. Okay, Flint. My heart's beating fast, folks. What do we got? It's nine tails. Ugh! Okay. It's one of two nine tails. Um. Okay. Oh, sick. I didn't even plan for that. It wasted its white herb, so okay, okay, whatever. Um, we're just going to rain dance here. So we outspeed, that's why we have the choice scarf, and we just immediately change it to rain, so if it overheats, it shouldn't do much. Oh, it went sunny day? Wait, it went solar beam? Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. So let's assume it is the stronger nine tails. That's super weird that it did that, by the way. Um, but that's fine. The issue. Oh no, there's no issue. There's no issue right now. We can just hard switch to, um... let's assume that it's the one that's modest though. How much does Sunny Solar Beam do? It does jack shit, okay. So we go Polaris here. It doesn't know Sunny Day. It does know Hypnosis or Confuse Ray, so that's the scary thing here. Okay, did Cheeks of Damage, great. And here's what you're gonna do. I actually don't know what you're gonna do. We need Stealth Rock up here. So we go Stealth Rock. Oh, it went overheat! Okay, 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 okay. Go Solar Beam again, bro. All right, this is where it gets scary. Well, okay. We still don't know which team this is, but we go back to Modoc. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yes! It didn't hypnosis, it didn't confuse Ray! Ah! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Okay.
Okay, we kill. Okay, okay, we're in business. We're in business. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Flareon. Yo, is this team one? Is this team one? Oh my god, it's team one. Homie, you are so unbelievably fucked. We just sweep you. We just sweep you with, with Mask Warrior. Again, baby. It's team one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! No low punnies! No low punnies! Just make sure everything's all, all gooch here. We said no low punnies! No big bunnies. Get out of here. No bunnies in chat, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No bunnies. Okay. No bunnies. God damn. Okay. Huge. 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 Modoc 77. No bunnies. Okay, there is a monkey. I'll admit it, there's a monkey, but guess what? Tighten that scarf, baby. Oh wait, scarfs go here, tighten that scarf, baby. Infernape dead. Infernape found dead. Okay, now the issue is that Houndoom doth, doth outspeed because he has a choice scarf of his own. Bit of a, a bummer, really. So, um, we do have to go Altaria here and um, hope for the best, as it were. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then profit. It should never sludge bomb here, right? Mask haters and shambies. Doubters in Shambies. Solar Beam? You freaking, freaking little freaking Frackerson, you know? You're done. You're done. You're done, baby. Watch this barely, barely touch me. You're done. Flint through with the Solar Beams. LFG, baby. Oh my god. Hound Doom more like Hound Didiot? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Man, Flint, you had a you had the opportunity to really fuck me royally. Um, especially because you were the confuse ray nine tails. So had you confuse raid on the switch. Um, we would have had to panic a bit because we needed the rain to guarantee the kill on Nine Tails. So that would have been. I'm blown away by this. You mean you blew it? You blew it. Oh God, okay. Okay. Woo, Lucian. Big boy Lucian. The Lush. Lushy douche. Here we go. 
Oh my God, okay, okay. You're more than halfway there, folks. Huh. I went to a NCAA uh, finals in the, um, for indoor track and field a couple weeks ago. And there was a guy, I believe in the mile, maybe the 800 or was it? Yeah, he has the 800. He's in the 800. And he would like get to the line and be like, like, like I'm not gonna do it cause he hit himself hard, but he was like, like on the line. He was like, like getting ready to go and just like smacking himself in the face. Um, I, I wish the best for that guy. I think it was the 800. Are you going to continue Redux Blaze Black 2? Uh, I don't have any plans to do it right now. In general, though, I'd appreciate it if you didn't spam in chat the same thing over and over again. I did see it a couple times. I just wasn't going to address it because we're in the middle of something here. Um, but yeah, in the future, just if, if I don't answer something, wait a little bit longer before re redoing it, you know? Um, all right. Okay. No, all good, all good, all good. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Okay. Now we ball. Sableye lead, baby. Let's do the items first. This is gonna be a little tricky thicky. Uh, ooh, but. But wait, there's more. Nah, never mind. Um, Modoc sweep number three incoming. I wish. All right, expert belt. This is where I would give it life orb if we had magic guard, but alas, earwax. Um, and then ninjas choice band, baby. And I spam positive messages for you to read over and over again. I guess. <laughs> sure, thanks. Uh, Polyrath leftovers, ninjas choice band, Altaria choice scarf. Nice, we don't, okay. Choice scarf, leftovers on you always, and you get focus sash, you get expert belt. Why do you get expert belt? Oh, that's not right. Um, I actually don't think you're really doing anything right now, Masquerade, but we're gonna give you a focus sash because we can't give you a choice scarf. Certainly not giving you expert belt unless no, surely, surely you kill the executor even, even without, yeah, even without an expert belt. Right? Right. Yeah, okay, but I, ideally you're not doing anything, so we'll just give you focus, Sash. Um, all right. Sableye's got fake out, sucker punch, shadow sneak, protect. Ninjask has protect. I mean, I guess, doesn't really matter. Protect, leech life, aerial ace, and U-turn, same as always. Polyrath needs rest, protect, toxic, and close combat. Rest, protect, toxic, and close combat. Um, is that right? Yeah, because we're dealing with the slow bro with you. And the slow bro can burn with flamethrower. Stupid slow bro. Um, all right, so we pray for not having to deal with the fucking Metagross, honestly. That's kind of the, the main thing.
There's two Metagross, I think. What was the other thing? Rest? Oh, Toxic. Where is Blossom? Uh, Blossom maybe had a potential chance to come, were it not for the fact that it had own tempo instead of, um, whatever, chlorophyll. That kind of miffed its chances. All right, toxic on you to deal with the slow bro. Don't love it, but it is what it is. Um, Altaria needs Roost, Fly, Moonblast, and Dragon Claw. Why Dragon Claw? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's just max damage and we're never EQing anything. Yeah, okay. Um, ah, uh, well, Choice Scarf EQ. Do I want that for Metagross? If we have to. I don't think I don't think we dragon claw anything, right? Is that right? Let me see. Da, 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 da. I don't see any dragon claws in here. Yeah, so let's let's keep EQ. Bruce fly moonblast and EQ. Okay. <laughs> um, Polyrath, Altaria, and Ninjas. Probopass does not need Power Gem anymore, right? He needs Stealth Rock, Flash Cannon, Protect. Does need flash cannon. When would flash cannon not be good? For which of these Pokemon would it not be good? Star me, I guess, but you're never. Never dealing with Star me. Yeah, alright. So let's give her the power gem, keep rest just in case we need it. Bye, Power Gem. Thank you for your service. You were very useful for destroying A. Aaron's bug flying types. All right, Aunt May finally gets some action, huh? Protect, Fake Out, Sucker Punch, Shadow Sneak, Aerial Ace, U-Turn, Protect, Leech Alive, Close Combat, Rest, Toxic, Protect. Roost Fly, Moonblast. Moonblast. Stealth Rock, Rest. Surf. Um, this move set is bad. We did not do you yet. Um, we need Silver Wind on you. Where the hell is Silverwind? That's a TM, right? Why Silverwind and not Bug Buzz? We don't have the TM for Bug Buzz, unfortunately. Oi, where's the Silverwind TM? Oh, wait, Bug Buzz is a TM? Hell, the hell yeah, baby. <laughs> cool. Whatever. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, look at that. Look at that. 
Well, now the question is, can I just sweep with masquerade? So, um, okay. Those are the only Pokemon that did anything? Oh no, Al Altaria did. Wild that we didn't use Polyrath against the fire type trainer. I mean, you're not going to use Toxic more than, like, twice, hopefully, but, um... There's a couple tricky guys here, but we hopefully can we can we can hopefully get 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 it done. What's happening? What's happening? We're on the last member of the Elite Four. Alright. Let's do it. Here we go. PP and Elixir. I'm pretty sure I did that, yeah? No, I appreciate the, the check. All right. Here we go. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. You're the trainer I met in Thalacion, aren't you not? That's a weird evolution. I've never heard of that before. You must have become an outstanding trainer to get this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Big reputation. Big reputation. Ooh, you and me, we got a big reputation. Nah. Um, all right, which one are you? Which one are you, Alakazam? Let's go! Huge! All right, all right, all right. Alakazam, super clutch, super fucking chill, baby. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Although that does mean that there's a stupid ass. Um, there is one of those stupid ass Metagrosses and Exeggutor. Actually, this kind of sucks. The only reason it's not bad is that we don't have to stall out light screen, I guess, but this is, um, this sucks, bro. This sucks, I changed my mind, this sucks ass. Um, okay, so it's gonna Thunder Wave here, we have to break its sash with Fake Out, like, oh, fuck me, what? 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 Oh shit. Okay. Um Might not be the end of the world, but we are yeah, we're going to have to steer steer a smidgen. All right, 
Shadow Sneak does 48 to 59% to this Gardevoir. So, we simply go to Polaris on the Moon Blast, which does a boatload of damage. Yeah, you don't need to do that. You don't need to drop the special attack, please and thanks. Now it goes Aurosphere. Chat, you see where I'm going with this? Chat, do you see what, what's happening here? Fingers crossed, this doesn't randomly not go Aurosphere. No, we're not really, um, we're not really going to stall this. But sorta. We're chipping with Fake Out until it's in range, and we're killing. Dude, stop. <laughs> can you not, maybe? Can you not, can you not just drop my special attack all the time? That would be, that would be chill. How much PP does Aurosphere have? Doesn't matter, one more will do it. Twenty? Word. Okay. So I'm gonna give us some ten. But one more fake out will do it, and then we can shadow sneak and kill. Okay, no crit there. That's no crits is good. Polaris still has over half his HP, her HP. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um. All right. All right. All right. Steer, steer, city, Korg. Steer, city, Korg. Steer, steer, city, Korg. Steer, city, Korg. Uh, this isn't too bad as long as nothing silly happens here. All right. Oh, fuck. Well, here's the hoping that's not in range to a, uh, a heal. Stupid Sableye with your dumb stupidness. All right, we got to go Polaris. Shadow Sneak, a low roll, doesn't kill. I don't think Probe really does much here anymore anyways. Man, three of four Moonblast kills. That's a little questionable, isn't it? Or, uh, not kills, but special, special attack drops. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in this uh, Metagross answer. I don't know, man.
This was probably unnecessary, but... Better safe than sorry. So stall makes us go last, not ever, but last in our priority bracket, just for the record. So that's why we're using a bunch of priority moves. Um, great. All right, this bait's in Starmie. Yep. So, uh, guess what this baits? Did you guess Hydro Pump? And now guess what this baits? Did you guess Psychic? <laughs> It could also be Thunderbolt, but it should always be Psychic. Right? Yeah. Um. Sucker Punch does 71%. I think I need another one, unfortunately. That's not 71%, is it? No. Even if it max rolled twice, Sucker Punch doesn't guarantee a kill here. So we go, although, nah, 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 we go one more time. I'm just worried that we're not going to have enough to deal with the Metagross. The Metagross is a problem. Okay. Yeah, this Metagross is gonna be a pain in the keister. I don't know how to do it. We may have to sack something against the Metagross. All right. That's enough. Even with min rolls, that's at that's thirty three percent. I. Okay. Um. Crit too. Nice. <laughs> All right. This is where things can get a little. Well, this is where things get a little sketchy. This is potentially where things get a little sketchy. Wait a second. No, yeah, that's right. Ninja Ask has choice band, right? Don't sleep powder. Come on. Go Giga Drain. Fuck.
Okay. That sucks. <laughs> okay, one sec. One sec. What does uh, Mask Warain know? So the issue is we can kill with Mask or Oh, word. Yo, word. Okay, never mind. We're gooch. We can kill with Mask Warain because of the Alakazam. Yo, yo. Yo? We got Focus Sash on Mask. And kill with Bug Buzz. Does U turn kill by any chance? I highly doubt it. <laughs> no, not even close. But we can U turn here. Or we can Bug Buzz here, and then the Alakazam comes out. Then we go back to Aunt May. And Aunt May does what? Aunt May baits Gallade. Boy, if we had Shadow Sneak, I tell ya. Okay. So here's the issue. Um, so I can kill with Modok. I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, so the, the Alakazam switching out sucks because now the Metagross is not last. I had a plan so that Metagross would be last so that it never explodes. I suppose that's not the worst thing in the world if we can catch it exploding at the right time. But if it does explode, if it explodes at the wrong time, obviously that's no, no, no bueno. But, um, All right, fuck it. Fuck it. Okay. We have a uh, focus sash, less this crits. It does not, but I'll tell you what it does mean. It does mean that freaking Alakazam should see the kill here. So, suck my... Nope, nope, nope. We'll keep it PG. We'll keep it GP. Hi. Okay. Um... So this should bring in Alakazam. Right? Aces! Okay, so now this should always psychic here. It should see the kill. Actually, doth it? Uh, it doth see the kill with all but one roll. But regardless, it should always psychic here. So this should bring in Aunt Ma. Or we should be able to bring in Aunt Ma. <laughs> okay. Now, one would imagine it switches out again, no? Are we guaranteed to have it switch out? What do you have for Metagross? A hope and a dream, baby. That's what I have for Metagross, baby. Oh, wait. Wait, this switches to Metagross. Uh-oh. ruh -ro Raggy. Boy, this is fine. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Mm. 
Man, really wish I had Shadow Claw here instead of Protect, but I needed Protect in case of things. I guess Protect's not terrible either here, so let's, um, okay. All right. I'm predicting the switch here, boys and girls. Okay. Crit? 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 Damn it. Okay. Um, why don't you explode, you stupid piece of shit? Where have I heard that before? Um, Meteor Mash. I mean, it's not gonna explode on me, I guess, but, um... Got 10 PP. The boy who lived come to throw up and die. Um... Meteor mashes. All right, this is about to get hella awful. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones, and baby, I'm radioactive. Meteor mash. It's the monster mash. You want a mash? Runs like graveyards mess. Monster mash. One attack boost, and we are. Headbutt, right? Aces. Blow up! Please stop hitting the meteor mashes. No! No! Oh, 
Oh, up, please. Not gonna matter. I think we're fucked. All right, I gotta stack something. Pass unfortunately cannot take a meteor mash. A plus one at least. I may have to sack mass for rain. Um, I think though. Sacking Masquerade means that if I get the Ampharos team, I'm screwed. Can't sack Polly. I need Proba Pass. I need the other ones. I don't really need Sableye, I guess. How much does Altaria do with Earthquake? I imagine very little. I think I go Modoc here to get the uh, Intim drop. Man, if we didn't get hit by Sleep Powder with Taskmaster, then Modoc would guarantee survive one of these, but he doesn't survive Meteor Mash, not even close. 64 to 76. If we didn't take the Psychic, would be fine here. You can miss. It's Ren Platt Tuesday in it. Sucker Punch, 
needs... Oh, we need to be much lower for Sucker Punch to kill because it's expert, though. Sucker Punch minimum is 44. But... I can risk a crit... I may have to do with save lie after meteor mash goes away which I should have done in the first place it's a plus one I can get it to minus one by going into him with mask Can't sack Taskmaster. Taskmaster doesn't have Focus Sash, so that doesn't matter. Polaris. Hmm. It's not Clear Body, it's Iron Fist. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I got a sack mask here. The only other question is if I can, I, I can't afford to sack two mons. If I could get a safe switch into Modok, right? So like if I go Polly here, plus one attack meteor mash is 41 to 48%. So it guarantees Zen headbutt. Or no, no, no. It makes it random move on Earthquake or Zen Headbutt. Then, then what? All right, sorry, Masquerade. I'm sorry, bud. Meteor Mash can miss. Meteor Mash can miss. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, 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 okay. Now this is nuzlocking. Oh man, okay, so, uh, so Surf does 44 to 52%, so we can't kill it here. Now, you turning, the issue is that this either goes Meteor Mash or Zen Headbutt. So, it makes sense to sack mask here. The objective correct play is to sack mask here for big damage with, uh, well, I don't want to, I don't want it to go into healing range. Um, Aunt May cannot survive a meteor match right now. Sixty-four to seventy-six percent. 
So it's either Meteor Mash or Zen Headbutt. I could U-turn here for some meaningless chip. Not meaningless, I mean 10%. Then I can U-turn into Sableye if... If Sableye survives the Meteor Mash, then we can Fake Out and then Sucker Punch should, is hopefully enough from that range. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta save Mask's life. I gotta save Mask's life, yeah? It's the objective bad play to make, but we gotta freaking do it, baby. We gotta freaking do it. I don't, f oh wait, 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 wait. We gotta freaking do it, baby. Save Modoke. Okay, it's below 50%. Don't you dare Meteor Mash. Let's fucking go, baby. Seven Meteor Mashes. Oh wait, no, that's, that's six. This will be seven. Greatest Nuzlocke in the world. Okay. Folks. Folks. We are rewarded for saving Masquerade's life. Now, Sucker Punch does 44.6. No, wait, we're at 76. Sucker, okay, Sucker Punch does 44.6 to 54.4%. It's always going Meteor Mash here. There are two options. Well, let's, we'll, we'll, we can stay in and Sucker Punch here. Or... We can switch out to Modoke on an eighth Meteor Mash, and now Modoke will not die. As long as it doesn't crit. And then, that gives us the U-turn, and then it's definitely alive. Or then, then we definitely, it'll definitely be in in range. Let's let's bust out the ruler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirteen out of thirty. That's not enough. Thirteen divided by thirty. Forty-three percent. Oh wait. Forty three percent. Oh shit, Sucker Punch always kills. Oh shit. Oh shit, we did it. We did it.
I think we did it. I think we did it. I think Sucker Punch guarantees the kill. I think it does. Full send. Full send, baby. Full send. Full send. Full fucking send. Come on, Aunt May. Come on, Aunt May. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. That's my Sableye! All oh, right, there's the rest of this fucking fight. Um, all right, we got another critter on our hands, but it's never Psycho Cut. It's never close combat. Uh, oh wait, Leaf Blade doth not kill. Leaf Blade doesn't crit kill. Shadow Sneak kills 93.8% of the time. Do we press our motherfucking luck, baby? I think we wholeheartedly do. Except yeah. Oh, you freaking know it, baby. You freaking know it. Sableye, you gorge darn brilliant baby boy. Baby girl. Baby girl, Sabe. Sableye, baby girl. Baby girl, Sableye. Here we go. All right, I'm not risking the low roll. That is a crit. But it doesn't fucking matter. All right, it's always Leaf Blade or Night Slash, but Altaria, Altaria outspeeds, crit Leaf Blade, crit Night Slash, don't do shiz. They don't do shiz. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Low roll shadow sneak doesn't kill. Let's go! Fly never kills. I mean, uh, Fly never misses in this game. Bye! All right! Let's go, baby! Take your victory lap, Aunt May. Let's go, baby girl. Let's go. You got it. You got it, baby girl. You got it. We're in Cynthia. Oh my God, I can't believe, I can't believe Masquerade didn't die. That's freaking insane. And with the crit, my baby girl. My baby girl. Woo! Woo! Aunt May gonna look so good on this thumbnail. Aunt May carried that fight. I mean, she didn't do literally anything else for the rest of the Elite Four, so it's a good thing she carried that fight. All right, all right. Focus up. It ain't ogre until it's ogre. Um, 
I don't uh, this is this is still scary, folks. Still folking scary. Woo! Yeah, Modok Modok has been an MVP. I gotta say, Mod Modok has slayed. Especially for not doing anything for the like first 99% of the game. Oh, okay. All right, items. We lead Alteria with the CS. That's what she's got already. Slightly different pred this time. Deathless, one to two deaths, three to five deaths, wipe. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. Um, choice Scarf on Altaria. Choice Band on Ninjask. Leftovers on Polly. Focus Sash on Sableye. Focus Sash on Aunt May. Choice Specs on you. It is all about which Cynthia fight we get. We can be deathless, we could wipe. It, uh, there, a lot depends on... Leftovers on you, yep. Choice Specs, Leftovers, Focus Sash, Leftovers, Choice Band, Choice Scarf. All right, we need Earthquake, Fly, Moonblast, and Roost. We got it. Uh, Sableye, on you we need Leech Life, Aerial Ace, U-Turn, and we're gonna throw a Giga Impact on there just in case for a Hail Mary. Where's Giga Impact? There's Giga Drain. They all have Pokey Rust. That's what happens. They get infected. Lagon, they want me to use Ethers. Yeah, 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 I'm getting to it. I, I've got an order. All right. Nebula needs Rest, Protect, Drain Punch, and Close Combat. Drain Punch is in the 70s, right? No, what do I know? I need Rest and Drain Punch. Where you at? Where you at, Drain Punch? Moon Blast! No, we already have rest. Rest, close combat, drain, punch, protect. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> All he needs cut, trust. Um King uh, King Nezua, thank you so much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. What were you up to? Am I late? You're right in time. It's Cynthia time, baby. Oh, okay. Um, Polly, Aunt May needs Brick Break instead of Protect, yeah? No, 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 actually, instead of um, folk, uh, Sucker Punch. Why do I not know my item numbers, my TM numbers? Goodbye, Sucker Punch. It's nice knowing you. Okay. Uh, Masquerain. Uh, Probopass needs Rest. Stealth Rock. Flash Cannon. Hmm. 
Got it. Modoc needs Surf, Ice Beam, Energy Ball, and Flash. Don't need Bug Buzz, right? I mean, I didn't even know I had it, so... I don't think... It's good on anything. <clears throat> Flash? Yeah, baby. Flash is for one contingency plan. Ideally, we don't use it, but yeah, Flash. Unideal, but <laughs> it's what we be doing, baby. <laughs> um, an energy ball for the uh, Milotic if we need it. Is Modok the designated dragon slayer? No, we don't have speed, unfortunately. And uh, it has a Yachi Berry, so wouldn't matter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we don't have Return or a Waterfall on Polyrath, which kind of B to the lows. But, um, tis what tis. Rest, protect, drain punch. Yeah, we need drain punch. All right, uh, now we PP Max and Elixir this bad boy up. Ninjask said, I took a nap last battle. I don't need a Max Elixir. Your little nap almost cost, uh... Cost a uh, sweet Modok his life. One second. Yeah, word. Okay. I mean, you're only using that once, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um...
All right, let's do it. I would like to see Spiritum, I think. I did PP Max everything. Four teams, Spirit Tomb, Milotic, Togekiss, and Clefable leads. Um, I would like Spirit Tomb. I really don't want to have to deal with um, uh, the bunnies. Remember, no bunnies, chat. No bunnies. Uh, I'm going to pee one last time. And then we gooch. All right, chat. Make your last predictions before we go in, before the music starts. Final predictions. No bunnies, chat. Chat, please spam no bunnies. No bunnies. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No bunnies. Let's go. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. Okay, rude. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from thee. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. No bunnies, Cynthia. No bunnies. Show me Spirit Tomb. Show me Spirit Tomb, girly. Ooh, that's not great. Um, fudge. There's a bunny. Chat. This one's the worst. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no Lucario, though. I mean, hey. Uh, this team is brutal. It's got fucking Miss Magius. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, we got easy Flint. We got easy Flint. So here we go. All right. You know what they say, if you can't handle the heat, get the hell out of Kuwait. Reflect. 
This is going to be fun. We may have to fully stall this out. Light screen. One turn reflect, one turn light screen. This immediately brings in Garchomp too, baby. Okay. Um, I need to kill this. How do we do this? But if we stall it out of Moonblast... Then we can go Sableye and Brick Break. Moonblast has got what? 10 PP? Moonblast! Fifteen! Ah, I guess we can always check, right? Ah, 15. Oh, Lord. All right. First turn of Reflect. Our third turn of Reflect. Um, Flash Cannon never crit kills, but... I actually don't want to do that. RGL fly gone. There's a Moon Blast. Let's see it. Sure. No, 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 no. Do I need protect for anything else with Provo Pass? Yeah, I do. Uh, let's not piss away too many of these budging protects. Third moon blast. Fourth moon blast. Moon blast. Fifth moon blast. God, Probo Pass is such a king. Or should I say Polaris is such a queen? Sorry. Is that fifth moon blast? Yep, Reflect is gone, so it's probably going to set it up again. Oh, uh, that was stupid. I should not have done that. Seven moon blast. Moon blast. Eight moon blasts. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this. If I kill with you, 
Who would come out but Miss Magius? Nine moon blasts. That's a crit. No. Okay, we got another special attack drop. That's cool. That's cool. Ten moon blasts. All right. Eleven moon blasts. Light clay extends screens, yeah. Twelve. Should be the end of twelve. Yeah, there's a flacked. Soft boiled, yeah. Thirteen. All right, um, not sure what to do now. <laughs> 14. And 15. Um, Last moon blast. Now, what do I do? Um. Struggle can hit ghosts, yeah. Okay, so it sets up light screen. You missed one? Are you kidding? Are you joking? It's not a very funny joke, Drew. You better be joking. I mean, it just light screen twice, so there's no way. sure what to do now because <laughs> that does nothing at least aunt may is as straight as the day is long so she can't get cute charmed
Nice! Job, Aunt May. It's all right. You waste all the full restores you want, Chief. Um, we have a bit of an issue here, though. Because uh, Miss Magius is going to come out next. I mean, eventually this just runs out of... I have not been counting reflex or light screens. I probably should. I'm sorry, Flash Cannon does that little to Clefable? How can that be right? How is that right? That doesn't make sense. Mm. Greens have 20 each. Okay, well, we'll just kill it this way then. That's fine. Oh, wait. I'm asleep? Why'd I do that? Hold on. <laughs> Might as well keep it asleep, right? So it doesn't get frozen or some shit. <laughs> Yo, Phantom VTuber, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, might as well. We know it's gonna wake up now, right? So we're good. All right, back to Aunt May. What were we doing? Oh, man. Yo, what up, Elfgar? How you doing, bud? All right, this is a little out of order. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to panic a little. But it's what it's.
Fuck you, Clefable. I don't like you. Um. Oh, I needed. I was like, why do I need protect? I really wish I had shut. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it, Clefable. Okay. Um. I needed, I needed protect on this if I had to use this to sell out Blizzard PP on Glaceon. But I'm really missing Shadow Claw here. I'm not gonna lie, folks. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Alright, Miss Magius. Do your worst. We got Focus Sash, right? Ninety-seven percent chance to kill. Nah, plus plus crits on either. Ninety-seven point three percent chance to kill after Stealth Rock damage. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Okay. That looks like it might be enough. That looks like 42%, right? Not we're fucked. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. You got it, buddy. You got it. Come on up, May. Come on up, May. Come on up, May. Come on up, May. Let's go, baby girl. That's how she does it. That's how she does it. All right, but now we do have a problem. Um, a tiny, tiny problem. I think we might have to sack her here. <laughs> um, oh, wait. No, we can just protect and it's choice scarfed. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on. Show me sludge bomb. Baga. Baga. All right, it's energy ball. Um, you can go ninjask. Homie's choice banded, right? Or we could go Modok. Just kidding. Yeah, no, we don't have speed, so. Um, oh, we might have to sack Aunt May here. Ninjask is still faster, but with a choice band, Aerial Ace doesn't kill. Actually, no, nah, it's only 25% chance after Stealth Rock, so I can't risk that. We gotta, we gotta kill Aunt May. But she got rid of Miss Magius. That's mighty impressive. Sorry, Aunt May. F's in chat for Aunt May. She was perfect. She didn't deserve, wait, 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 wait. Can I go Moon Dragon? Don't really know. Yeah, energy ball does too much.
Yeah. Goodbye, Aunt May. You have to die so that Peter can be motivated in his third movie to be the best Spider-Man he can be. Taskmaster doesn't work here because Taskmaster does not kill with Aerial Ace if we bring in, um, if we bring in Taskmaster on an energy ball and it crits or gets a spadef drop, we risk another one killing and I can't have Taskmaster die because he's an answer to Garchomp. He's one of our only Pokemon that has beats Garchomp. So unfortunately, Aunt May does have to die. Um, I think it's only safest, unfortunately, sadly, as it were. And I need Ninjas fully healthy to deal with low punny. Pun on my low, you know? Yeah. All right, Aunt May. You legend. You freaking legend. If it was Sludge Bomb, we would have been fine. If it was Dazzling Gleam, we would have been dead anyways. There's nothing left to do but vamp for a little bit as we prepare for the fifth death of the run. Aunt May, you were a hero. You were a god amongst men. I larb you. I larb you, Aunt May. I larb you. 3,000. Rest in peace, sweet, sweet Aunt May. Okay, dokay. It's all because Taskmaster is a minus attack nature, just for the record. But it is what it is. All right, who's ready for another stall, baby? Oh, baby. We got Milo, so it's time for another stall, baby. <laughs> you thought I, you thought you were done. Stall simulator. Stall simulator, baby. Oh, Hydro Pump. It'd be a shame if you, um, you know, couldn't do anything other than click Ice Beam, which isn't going to do basically nothing. Oh, almost click Close Combat. Protect. Ice Beam, huh? All right. Uh, now it would be real swell if you don't freeze on this ice beam, okay? 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 Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. That's funny. That's hilarious. Three ice beams. It's okay, we have contingency plans. We've got contingency plans, folks. We simply wake up or unfreeze, thaw out, however you want to say it. We simply who the fuck is calling me? Is it spam? Oh, a telemarketer. Goodbye. All right. Like I said, we got contingencies. Remember how Probopass is asleep? It's five ice beams. 
Rourke is literally calling. It's Aunt May calling? Nah, dude. She dead. She dead. Give me some HP back, please. Oh my, what? Okay, well. <laughs> um, That's unideal. Ice beam. Does it know that, does it know that I don't have... I didn't know that you could miss a water absorb move. What the fuck? That's stupid. Should be fine though. Unless it crits three in a row or something. So, Polyrath, you gonna wake up or, uh, thank you, there's the Hydra Pub. You gonna wake up or like, what's going on here, Chief? You're just, just gonna be perpetually frozen? How many Frozens is this? This is eight Frozens in a row? This happened in other my other playthrough of Rainplat too with Blissey, right? Bro! Gen one up in here. Great. One more ice beam and then I I, I don't I don't know, man. Uh Nebula. Hello. Right, well, ice beams are gone. So now it's got two hydro pumps left. I, I don't know, man. There we go. There we go, baby. There we go. That does fucking nothing, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fairy type. I um I'm not going to lie, I completely forgot about that. All right. Time to completely stall it out, I guess. From Spain with love. Um, what's after this? Low punny. Give me a break. Presumably when it uses sleep talk, that's PP, right? How much PP does sleep talk have? This is fine, it's just annoying. Please tell me it has 10 PP. Okay, thank you. Great. This theoretically still gets annoying if... Oh, no, wait, no, this is fine now. How much PP does rest have? Also 10. Oh, it's got fu- no, that's different. Ten. Yeah, ten. Okay. Bum, 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 ba, da, da. Is that another rest? I wasn't paying attention. Shit. <laughs> Five rests. So once it starts taking damp, once it runs out of rest, we can- it'll be stuck with sleep talk, and then we can just go to, uh... 
Ninjask or whatever. That's six. Although it does still have Hydro Pump, doesn't it? So actually... Caught that just in time. It's got one more hydro pump. Okay, 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 it's out of Hydro Pumps. It's got a couple more rests, or it's got one more rest, and then it's all only gonna spam Sleep Talk. So what I can do is I can kill with Ninjask, or whatever I want, I suppose. Ninjask brings in Low Punny. Yeah, let's, let's, Get Garchomp done. No, 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 no. Um, Altaria brings in Low Punny as well. Fudge. Who doesn't bring in Low Punny? Ninjask, Polyrath. No, Ninjask does. Is Probo Pass? Can't kill with Probo Pass, but it does. So does the bug. The bug still have Focus Ash, or does it have Choice Scarf? It has Choice Scarf, doesn't it? Shit. Ah, but we can Outrage plus Stone Edge, and then. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, um, we'll kill with Taskmaster. And that goes, oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. Am I sure it's out of pumps? Nope. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the first speed boost of the game. gonna full restore.
All right. I wish Low Punny was a choice band, but it's not. Crit! Taskmaster gets the crit! Good girl. Good girl, Taskmaster. Good girl. What a queen. What a queen you are. I'm back in business, baby. Um, I'm sorry. How does I jump kick almost crit kill Ninjask? This is a stupid Pokemon. All right. That is how you kill a Milotic with a Ninjask. Okay. All right, low punny. Gonna come in hot with that mega punch and or um, ice, mega kick and or ice punch. But it don't matter. You know why? Polaris is asleep. We're not getting frozen twice, I'll tell you that much. All right, Polaris. Okay, okay. Just woke up from my hibernation. You got this, goat. Thank you, I'm so sorry I missed you at PAX. Okay, a, a crit. Not what I want to see, really, but... Whatever. Um, awesome. Oh, we woke up! What a shock! Just kidding, it's rest. Okay. High jump kick. Crash, homie, crash. We don't need speed boost. Speed boost is trash. All right. Um, as the kids say, that's how that's how low punny do. Oh, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Smooth jazz. Ninety-five point five K Y O T. Haha! <laughs> the Phoenix. Um, I twish that you turn killed here. Uh, what I could do... So what, is this Garchomp, right? Garchomp's the last one? Okay, so... What are we... What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? The only thing we need to do now is I could switch out on the ma... the Mega Punch, the Mega Kick, or the Ice Punch. If it freezes... That's dumb, but that would guarantee the Earthquake, which would give me a safe switch back into Taskmaster. Ah, now we just kill. Let's just kill. All right. Goodbye, low punny. The chump! Chump, chump, motherfucker. Here we go. All right. This son of a gun. We outspeed. Moonblast and Dragon Claw both do 45 to 54%. So we need to get Chomp Chomp down to that range. Here's what we can do. We go Polaris. The question is, how many people do we sack? How many of our sweet little angels is Garchomp going to kill? He's going to miss a Stone Edge. That is a rough shake, my guy. That is a rough ass shake. But... That means we can go back to Taskmaster because it's now gonna go Earthquake. Here we go. I would have sacked Taskmaster there. Well, guess what, Later Manor? You're not playing, Chief. 
guess what? Guess what? I'm the captain! I'm the captain! Um, bum, ba -da, da, 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 da. Oh no, are you confused now, Garchomp? Huh? I was born to kill you, Garchomp. My guy. You are so dead, you don't even know how fucking dead you are. Oh, did you hurt yourself in confusion? Did the big dumb baby hurt himself in confusion? Grow up, Garchomp. Grow up. Ah, oh, damn it. Did you crit? He crit for the kill. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the game, baby. Taskmaster said, um, no, I don't think I'm... We're not gonna moonblast this Garchomp. We're just gonna freaking kill him with a crit. <gasps> oh my god. Taskmaster, the king. Taskmaster has been critting everywhere. He's been critting everywhere. He's been going... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We ended with a Taskmaster crit. Ninjask is a Hall of Fame champ without setup, without swords dance, without baton pass. He is a Hall of Fame champ in Renegade Platinum, baby. Let's go. One death. One death. And it was a ghost, so she was dead already. Woo! Minus attack nature. Calm Ninjask. We got it. We got it. We got it. Woo! Renegade Platinum defeated. Defeated. Oh! Let's go. Joking, thank you so much for the sub. Tiny Lasco, thank you for the sub. Oh my goodness. Woo! What are, what are we even talking about? What are we even talking about? What a Mickey Mouse team. The Mickey Mousiest of teams. We rolling in channel points today. One to two deaths did bet a lot. But Deathless was pretty high up there. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that you guys... Damn. So I think the hardest one would have been the Milo lead. And we would have had to guarantee sack. Um, we would have had to guarantee sack the Polyrath against Ampharos. And then kill that with Ice Beam close combat, uh, Ice Beam from Masquerade. But other than that, I think, and, and the Lucario had Aura Sphere, so that would have been scary. We probably would have had to sack out May as well. Probably should have done one death and two deaths separate in hindsight. Yeah, oh well, it is what it is. I guess, yeah, like, z like zero, because you can only do five options, right? So it'd be zero, one, two, three to five, wipe. 
That was fun. What a fun challenge. Taskmaster, you queen. No, you king. You king. Did you ever think you would accomplish it in one run? After we got past Aaron the first time, like outside of Hearthome, and we got past that without any deaths, I was I was very optimistic. This run was fun, but we did get very lucky in certain regards. I mean, we got Sableye for one. Had we not gotten Sableye, this would have been much harder. Um, we got Probo Pass as well on Iron Island. That was huge. Look at that. All right, pose, everybody. Pose for Twitter. So. Oh. All right, so the Drapion, um, I didn't know about the AI, but the planning for the Drapion was obviously... If we if we lost that, we would have been totally fucked. Um, so we got very lucky there. Um, the there were a, so again had Flint had Flint gone for Confuse Ray with Nine Tails, that would have been a bad idea, or that would have been bad. And the other Ninetales team is much harder, especially if it had gone and hit us with Hypnosis. Because um, that other Ninetales team has a low punny, which would have been scary. Um, and for the record, low punny has Scrappy. Uh, so ghosts gone. don't work against it. See you back. Sucks I missed the Elite Four, but looking forward to seeing it in the VAR. Thank you so much, Evoce. Thank you, thank you. Later, Manor, thank you for the sub as well. Um, the only other issues that could have arisen... I mean, Flint was the big one. Bertha had a couple tricky mons in the Tyranitars because we went XP share with Altaria, so it would have been a little tricky to deal with setting up Sunny Day with Altaria if it was T-Tar leads. Um, like, but eventually, but basically they're both choice scarfed and they most likely would have gone stone edge on both. There's one that would have gone thunder punch potentially, and that would have been an issue, but we dodged that. Um, I think Flint, I mean, Aaron, a Aaron was a lot less guaranteed than I thought it was because of that Drapion. And that would have happened at any moment. So thank God we had the focus ash instead of choice band there. Um, And the Torkoal lead could have been sketchy too because it very likely would have set up Stealth Rock and then switching around would have been tricky, especially into Mask. Um, but there were contingencies for that. It's just that Altaria would have had to really come in clutch. Um, in hindsight, I don't think we needed XP share on Altaria, but we did it. Um, well, I mean, we clearly didn't need it because Altaria didn't even come out. <laughs> Because Taskmaster just eviscerated Garchomp. We killed Garchomp with a freaking Ninjask. Can we, can we, can we? That is what snap locks are about, baby. That's why I love snap locks, right? You, you get to use a wide range of Pokemon. It doesn't completely cut out team building. Um, and you get to just use silly, silly ass Pokemon all the time. Like, we, we lucked out that Polyrath wasn't banned. That was on you guys. Um, I think we could have done this with... It, it wasn't necessarily... If we had not gotten Polyrath, if we didn't have Polyrath, we could have potentially done something... Because basically what it was doing was it was... It didn't do much other than eat water moves. And I guess wall the scissor. But like wall rain potentially could have done something. Dry skin, um, toxicroak could have been potentially okay. Although it wouldn't have been very good against scissor. Um, but yeah. 
Ninjask has come in clutch so many times, but this was really fun. This was one of my favorite snap blocks. Um, I enjoyed this a lot, and I thought it was really fun doing this on stream and, and chatting with you all. I, I really appreciate everybody hanging out and having fun. Um, do you think you'd come back to Renplat for a future challenge of some sort? Absolutely. Um, not anytime soon. Need a break from it. I'm honestly thinking run and bun next. We'll see, but maybe. Um, at least try it. At least have a little fun with it. We'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see how much it consumes me, whether I like it. Um, it'll be really slow. We may do some of it, go to something else, come back, that type of thing. Um, the other option is potentially rent, uh, Radical Red. But Vintage White is one that's on my list. And potentially Blaze Black too, but I think there's enough stuff Buy a red Omega? Not, not now. Thought he was about to say Renegade Platinum again. <laughs> Sterling Silver I could do, but I feel like we just, I mean, we didn't just, but I got the Storm Silver. The Storm Silver video did so badly. I don't know why. Like, it's it's coming up slowly, but for a ROM hack, yikes. Um... But yeah, I'll, I'll think about it a little. Um, there's a good chance I don't stream on Thursday. Was it just a timing thing? I don't know. Yeah, Rad Red I could do. The weird thing is that all my regular Heart Gold Soul Silver videos do really well. I think what it was is that you can't really tell that it's a ROM hack from the title. And from the thumbnail, the way when you quickly look at it, it just looks like Storm Silver, or I mean Soul Silver. It's just they're too similar. I think that might be part of it, honestly. Um, maybe it's worth changing the thumbnail a bit or the title or something. But anyways, um, maybe maybe Radical Red. Yeah, maybe Kalos. Um, probably not Emerald Kaizo, to be honest. Well, I, I'm leaning towards Run and Bun, but I'll think about it. Um. So, we'll see, we'll see. Thursday, uh, maybe we'll do just something light and fun. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll play a bit of one of my off-stream challenges or something. Um, I don't know. But this was a blast. Uh, hopefully, we'll do another snap lock at some point. Um, but I, I really felt like Storm Silver had a couple challenging fights. But with the with the the snap lock bands, this was really fun to just like really cut my teeth on some like actual calcing and team building and planning and figuring things out. And I really, really had a lot of fun doing that. So I think that segues nice into um, into run and bun. We may just We may have to, we, we may start it, stop it, whatever. Um, like we may do part of it, go bad. I don't know, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But the, um, the world's my oyster. I thought Run and Bun didn't have complex AI. Am I wrong? I thought Gongus told me that. Uh, maybe Infinite Fusion. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll see how much I get done tomorrow. I'd like to get out a video this week. Um, currently I don't have one planned, but, um, I'd like to get something short out. So, we'll see how that goes. It's got custom AI. Really?
Well, either way, either way, we'll, uh, we'll think about it. Feel like that could be a great in-between option, infinite fusion. All right. Woo. All right. Well, with that, um, oh shit, I got to get going actually. Send it well. Um, this is a blast. A uh, video will be out mid to late April, I think, for this one. Um, in the meantime, check out the highlights, all that stuff. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And um, I think that'll do it for me. Let's hop into a raid. Who's live? All right, go, go raid Wacko. Go raid Peter. Go, go, go have some fun over there. Go spam. Go spam the, the Flygon emotes and don't ask him about our secret project, okay? Because, because there, there isn't one. Don't ask him. Tell him I said that you're not supposed to ask, okay? All right, all right. I cherish and appreciate you all. Thank you for all the support. Uh, it's been a hectic couple weeks, but this was a, a fun, a fun way to, to cap it out. All right. Peace.